Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco, Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fit and interpret logistic regression models using respondent-driven sampling data, or RDS data. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling, or respondent-driven sampling. Regression is a statistical technique for modeling outcomes as a function of one or more other variables. Logistic regression is a special type of regression in which the outcome variable of interest is dichotomous. In other words, the outcome can only have two possible values. Methods for choosing variables to include in a model should depend on the goal of the analysis. Regression is used for different scientific goals, such as to form a predictive model or to obtain an estimate for a causal effect. Techniques for model selection are outside the scope of this video. Consult a statistician if you'd like further guidance. In this video, we'll be using the same data set we used in our last video. This data set represents a sample of people who inject drugs, or PWID. For our first example, we'll fit a bivariate logistic regression model to examine the relationship between HIV and homelessness. For our second example, we'll fit a multivariate logistic regression model to examine the relationship between HIV and homelessness while adjusting for age. Recall that when we conducted stratified analysis on this data set, we found that the estimated prevalence of HIV was higher among homeless PWID than it was among non-homeless PWID. We can use a logistic regression model to assess whether the difference is statistically significant. You'll need to have a data set with the weights already merged in. To begin, we'll assume that you've already loaded the data. You'll need to specify the sampling design by using the survey set command the survey set command only needs to be entered once after you load the data, but if you reload the data, you will need to retype the command. Type survey set and then the name of your first sampling unit, which in this example is just ID for the individuals, and then specify your sampling weights by typing open bracket I weight equals and then the name of your weights variable, which in this case is called weights, and then close bracket. In this data output here, we see that data recognizes a primary sampling unit called ID, which is correct. Now let's briefly explore the data set. Type browse. Our exposure variable of interest, homelessness, is called homeless, and it is coded with currently homeless and no. Our outcome variable of interest, HIV, is called HIV, and is coded with negative and positive. We also have a variable for age group, called age group. We now need to make changes to the data. Data expects the outcome variable for logistic regression to be coded with zeros and ones, so we'll need to create a new version of the HIV variable which we'll call HIV01. To do this, type generate HIV01 equals parentheses HIV equals equals positive, close parentheses. Those who are HIV positive will be coded with ones and everybody else will be coded with zeros. In addition, data expects the missing values for string variables to be coded with blanks. To change the coding for the homeless and age group variables, type replace homeless equals quote quote if homeless equals equals quote dot quote and replace age group equals quote quote if age group equals equals quote dot quote. Let's also specify that we want non-homeless to be the reference group in the analysis. Type char homeless bracket omit close bracket and then the coding for non-homeless no. Now we'll fit the bivariate logistic regression model. Type XI survey logistic followed by our outcome variable, HIV01, and then I dot, and our exposure, homeless. The XI and the I dot indicate that we want data to generate dummy variables for homeless and to use the dummy variables in the model. Notice that at the top of the output, data informs us that a dummy variable was not created for a non homeless PWID, which means that non homeless PWID is our reference group for the odds ratios. The estimated odds ratio for being HIV positive comparing homeless to non-homeless PWID is in the first row and is 2.1 with a 95% confidence interval of 1.1 to 4.0. In other words, the odds for being HIV positive is estimated to be 2.1 times higher among homeless PWID than it is among non-homeless PWID. Because the confidence interval does not include one, we conclude that there is an association between HIV status and homelessness. Suppose homelessness preceded HIV incidence and that our goal is to estimate the causal effect of homelessness on HIV status. 
We might be worried about possible confounding by age. We can adjust this possible confounding by adjusting for age in our model. To do that, type xi survey logistic followed by our outcome variable. It should be 0, 1, and then i dot, and our exposure, homeless, plus i dot and our age group variable, age group. The estimated odds ratio for being HIV positive comparing homeless to non-homeless PWID adjusted for age is in the first row and is 2.1 with a 95% confidence interval of 1.1 to 4.1. In other words, the odds for being HIV positive is estimated to be 2.1 times higher among homeless PWID than it is among non-homeless PWID of the same age groups. Because the confidence interval does not include one, our interpretation is still the same after adjusting for the possible confounder of age. The analysis still suggests a relationship between HIV status and homelessness. That concludes our video on fitting and interpreting logistic regression models using RDS data. Thanks for watching.